Hi, I'm Fred McNeil, and you're watching QAC TV 7. It's the holiday season, so what we want to do is bring you some local things that are happening that we'll hope you're going to. Coming soon to this area is Messiah. And I've got Pete to tell me about Pete. How about introduce yourself to everybody? Fine. I'm Pete Dillingham. I'm the president of the Mishawa Symphony Society. And we've been bringing the Baltimore Symphony Orchestra to the shore now. This is our 45th consecutive year in doing that. Basically, we bring them with three concerts each year. And which are all packed? All, yeah, no, I, they were, I wish they, they were, were packed. packed. Okay. I do indeed. Okay. Yeah, as a matter of fact, uh, there's a great deal of competition, as you might imagine. I bet there is, Especially yes. around the holiday season, when everybody is putting on their own chorales and, and other music presentations. But um, this is the fourth time we've been bringing the Messiah here to, um, to the shore. And we're down at the Chesapeake College Chesapeake, now. Chesapeake, easy to get to, e plenty of parking. And plenty of free parking, I've got to okay. emphasize That's that. That's the key. And okay. uh, so the Todd Performing Arts Center is a great auditorium, great venue to have a concert like such as this. And they've had some upgrades over the summer, so it, uh, it's going to be even it's better this year. It's a beautiful center. It's absolutely And glorious. we want to remind everybody, this is taking place Saturday, December 5th. Right. At 7.30 7 p.m. And easy, like you said, Chesapeake College, easy to get to. Right. Right. Plenty of free parking. Yeah, okay, absolutely. A delightful venue. Uh, Pete, help us out a little bit. Those that maybe, I, I know everybody is familiar with Messiah, but in case they're not, what are they going to see when they get there in terms of music and et cetera, et cetera? Well, it, it really is interesting. You know, I've, this is my... I've as I say, the fourth time we put this concert on, and each year it gets better and better and better. And it's, it's, there are three really compo three real components you kind of have to pay attention to. One, of course, is the orchestra itself, right. which is the Baltimore Symphony so, Orchestra. One of the it, best in the country, it, if not yeah, the world. It, it's, it's not a pickup team that they send over here. Okay. Which, there are a lot of people that think that that's not the first team, but it really this is, is the, the first team. team. And Ed Polachik, who is the conductor, he'll be conducting. This is his 17th year, you know, doing this sort of thing okay. with the with the BSO, and he's got a long history of music. In fact, uh, the next component is the uh, soloists, and they're world class too. Uh, they all have a great deal of experience, both in Europe and in England, and here in the United States, performing. You know, operettas and uh, oratorios such as the Messiah. And again, this is the, the first team coming this, over. This, this is, is the best. These, these guys, these, these people, right. there are two women, and uh, the soprano and the alto are 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 absolutely gorgeous women as well. Right. Okay. So they and they're young, and it's a trend. Just a little bit of side please, here, please. but but the. Soloists now and the musicians are all becoming younger and younger. The techniques that they have, they're technically qualified and They've they're been very, trained very and well right trained right. and very sensitive to the music itself. So you're getting a whole new group. And just because they're young, it doesn't mean that they're just starting out. No. I mean, they have a He's great a seasoned deal of professionals. Of themselves. They are indeed. And then, of course, the conductor, uh, Ed Polachek, is just, he's world class okay. as well. And the music, the oratorio, each time I listen to it, I see, I learn something new because Ed, Ed himself says, you know, we never do it the same way twice. It's always something new. It's a little different it's flavor. A little, little different. And that's, that's due to really, I think, to the soloists and how they interpret the music. Okay. And, uh, and so it's, um, it'll be a grand evening. It really will, I can assure everybody. So it's great music. Great music. Okay, uh, the conductor's going to be outstanding. You're going to hear yep. some wonderful soloists who are young, enthusiastic, but still world class. That's absolutely. Right? I mean, yeah. a wonderful holiday venture, right? Absolutely. A way, just a fantastic way to usher in the holiday season. How about age group? Zero to 99? I mean, uh, kids. Are the, I mean, who, <laughs> can anybody? Can you bring your kids to this thing? The kids are certainly welcome. They are. Uh, we bring them in, and uh, and they're well behaved. They're interested. Sometimes the younger ones get fidgety, and this is a two and a half hour so it's a uh, pretty performance. Lengthy show. So it's, yeah. it's a long. It's long, and it's all. It's all soloists, so younger people have a tendency to lose interest okay. quickly in that. And um, however, there are a lot of students. We're seeing uh, high school, growth college, age, high school and college students. So we're beginning to see a large, larger number each year people coming in, which is uh, great. very encouraging. When we had a, a symphony here a couple of years ago, it was really kind of the first time we started bringing in students. Sure. 
And, uh, and he, I said, well, how did you enjoy the concert? He said, you know, it was really cool. Oh, good. And, and All I, right. <laughs> that cool and, sounds and good. I, cool was it. That my, At our he, age, <laughs> if we can be cool, anything we see cool, we win. Exactly. Right? Okay. I think that was right for us. Okay. Pete, now, I think you wanted to tell us something about the program you're going to have. I do. And uh, for every concert that we have, we have a concert program, which gives you the basic information in terms of what it is and how it's divided, who the solos are. But for the Messiah, what we've done is we've turned uh, the inside into what the Messiah, history of the Messiah, as well as what you should listen to for in while the Messiah, you're actually while you're afraid. actually okay. going in on, going after you're listening to it. And we have the bios of, uh, and photos of the, of the uh, performers. And then also what we've added is the Messiah is divided into verses and into sections. And what we have done, we have put the English libretto in here so that you can follow it along. Yeah. And then we have a listing, of course, of the chorus and then of the orchestra members. Now, I know you'll be giving this to everybody who walks in, so make sure you don't just put it in a pocketbook or hide it, open it up, find out who's performing, and you can follow right along with what's taking place exactly on the stage. Exactly right. Okay, yep. that's, a great, that's a great idea. Right. Thank you. Let's okay. remind everybody, Baltimore Symphony Orchestra, right. All right. Handel's Messiah, Saturday, December 15th. No, 5th. I'm sorry, 5th. Let's say that again, Saturday, no, December 5th. 5th. Okay, at 7.30 p.m. at Chesapeake College, parking's free, plenty of parking, perfect venue, right? Absolutely and, spectacular. And it sounds like a great place to be for the holiday seasons. Uh, I second that, and I encourage everybody to come. Now, last yeah. thing before we go. Tickets are available at the door, or you can call the following number, 410-827-5867. And I'm going to say that again. December 5th, 7.30 p.m., Chesapeake College. You can get tickets at the door, or call 410-827-5867. Correct. Sound good? Sounds wonderful. For about a Harvard guy and a Maryland guy, we did well. All right. <laughs> this is Fred McNeil. Thank you for watching QAC TV. We hope to see you at this year's performance of The Messiah.